Welcome to the Getting Started video for TopView events for MQTT. TopView for MQTT allows users to configure subscribing, monitoring, logging, and notification of MQTT message content published to one or more brokers. This video assumes you have a basic understanding of MQTT, including the message topic and payload. For an introduction to MQTT, please watch our TopView and MQTT overview video. This video will demonstrate how to get started with Toffee for MQTT by showing the initial configuration steps and a small set of features. We'll start with a discussion of Toffee events to see how Toffee handles event generators like MQTT. We'll then discuss the configuration of the Toffee event generator for MQTT, which involves the creation of message subscriptions to MQTT brokers. We'll create events tags to configure the MQTT messages of interest to Toffee. And lastly, We'll configure the TopView engine to monitor MQTT message content and to send email notification when message content violates normal operating ranges. TopView Events is a version of TopView alarm and notification software that supports event-based monitoring. TopView Events is designed to handle multiple event generators, such as MQTT, through a standard interface. With TopView Events, users can configure the types of events that should be monitored display the events as they occur, trigger top view alarms based on properties of the incoming events, configure actions and notifications for the top view alarms, such as email, SMS, and voice callout, and store and view logs of all received events. Let's start by defining some of the terms used by top view events. An event may include a value, action, status, or alarm. Examples include events reporting that the temperature is currently 56.3, or that a door was opened. For MQTT, most events contain sensor values or statuses. An event generator is, is TopView's name for a producer of events. MQTT is an event generator. An event source is the creator of an event. For the example event, the temperature is 56.3. The source may be the name or ID of the temperature sensor. Each event contains properties or fields that describe the details of the event. These properties include the source name, a timestamp, and additional fields based on the event generator. For MQTT, one of the fields is usually a sensor value. An events tag identifies a specific type or category of events that can be monitored by TopView. Each events tag is defined by an event generator and an optional event filter. An example events tag could be created to monitor all temperature sensor values published from sensors located in a certain area. To see how these items interact, let's take a look at an overview of top view events from event sources to real-time monitoring. On the left, various sources create events which are aggregated in an event generator. The event generator delivers the events to top view. Each event contains a source name, an event time, and a list of event fields that describe the other details of the event. The events tag is the glue between top view and the events. Each events tag defines a category of events that are of interest to the user. The events tag maps the event source and timestamp and allows the user to customize the row value from any of the event fields. The row value is used to monitor the current state in top view. A single events tag can receive events from multiple sources. The top view engine will create a slot or row for each unique source that appears in the events tag, allowing users to view and track event state per source. These concepts are presented generically because top view events was created to work with many different event generators, including MQTT. As we move on to a demonstration of top view events for MQTT, the concepts in this overview will become clearer as we apply them to real MQTT messages. To make it easier for TopView users to get started with MQTT, TopView installs a local MQTT broker and simulator that can be used to test TopView for MQTT. The simulator publishes sensor values of temperature and humidity. The temperature and humidity data is published in four formats, text, JSON, XML, and CSV. In this video, we will subscribe to and parse the MQTT simulator's text and JSON messages to demonstrate the configuration and use of TopView for MQTT. The simulator's text MQTT messages contain one temperature or one humidity value. 
The message topic contains the type of reading, temperature or humidity, followed by the device ID of the sensor that generated the message. The message payload contains the sensor reading, the temperature or humidity value. Toffee does not need to parse the message payload to get the reading value because the payload contains a single value. Each of the simulator's JSON MQTT messages contain a temperature and humidity value, plus additional information about the reading. The message topic starts with the static text sensors underscore JSON, followed by the device ID of the sensor that generated the message. The message payload is a JSON string that contains the device ID again, the temperature and humidity readings, the location of the sensor, and the time of the sensor reading. Toffee will need to parse the JSON string to retrieve the temperature and humidity readings. We can also parse the time of the reading and any other fields that appear in the JSON string. A Toffee engine is a running process that performs real-time tasks such as monitoring and notification. The Toffee engine can run interactively or as a Windows service. Each instance of the Toffee engine is controlled by a separate configuration. The Toffee configurator, seen here, is used to create these configurations. Before we create a configuration and top view engine for MQTT, we need to configure the MQTT event generator and events tags. To do this, start the top view configurator. In the upper right corner, make sure that the current data source is events. From the left menu, select tags and limits. At the top of the tags and limits screen, Click Configure Top View Events. The Top View Events configuration screen allows the user to create and edit event generators and to create and edit events tags. In Top View for MQTT, an event generator is created for each configured subscription to an MQTT broker. Since we do not have any subscriptions, we do not have any event generators. Therefore, the first step is to create a subscription for MQTT messages. To create a new subscription, click Create New Event Generator, MQTT Subscriber. The TopView MQTT Test Broker and Simulator will be used in this demo, and we can launch the test broker from this screen. I'll configure the simulator for 10 sensors, publishing five random sensor readings every five seconds. While the simulator is running, the details of the published MQTT messages are displayed in the simulator window. We need to configure the details of each broker that TopView will access. Click Manage Brokers to define the local simulator broker. Each broker is defined through a broker alias, a single name that defines the broker machine or IP address, the port, and connection properties. Click New Alias to define a broker named Local Broker. Once the broker details have been entered, you can test the connection to the broker. Our first subscription will monitor the humidity sensor values by subscribing to the text MQTT messages of humidity. To review the text MQTT messages from the simulator, the humidity values are published with a topic of humidity followed by the device ID, and the payload is the humidity value. Create a new subscription named Humidity Values. Enter the topic as humidity forward slash plus. The plus sign is a wildcard for the second level of the topic, the device ID. Topic fields allow you to return any of the topic levels as fields that can be accessed by TopView. I would like to access the device ID, which is the second level of the topic, 
so I'll enter the number 2. Since the payload is the humidity value, we do not need to parse the message. I can test the new humidity subscription to see if it can monitor and parse the humidity MQTT messages. The viewer will display the results of received humidity MQTT messages, including the topic, the message payload, and the parse topic level 2. The simulator was configured to send five sensor values every five seconds, which you can see as new messages arrive. Now that we created a subscription, we have one MQTT event generator. The name of the event generator is MQTT, followed by the broker name and the subscription name. The next step is to create an events tag. Each events tag is a category of events from a single event generator that we would like to monitor in top view. Our first events tag will track the humidity values of the 10 sensors using the subscription that we just created. To create or edit an events tag, click the configure events tags button. Click new tag to create a new events tag. I will name my tag humidity. I need to assign an event generator to my events tag. I will assign the humidity values event generator, which is my MQTT subscription. Once I select an event generator, a list of the available fields appears. The field names for the MQTT subscription include the topic, the message payload, and the parsed second level of the topic, the device ID. The field names can be used to construct the source, the row value, and the filters of the events tag. The source and row value can be a combination of event fields and static text. The events tag source should uniquely identify the source of the event, the source of the humidity reading. I'll set the source to the word device plus the device ID field from the message, which is the second level of the topic. The row value should be the humidity value, which is the message payload. For value-based events like the humidity readings, I want Toffee to monitor the most recent reading received, so I'll check the box to only use most recent value. The event filter contains multiple lines. Each line defines an event field and allowed value. The allowed value can contain wildcard characters to match multiple values. Since my humidity subscription delivers the humidity readings that I want to monitor, I do not need to enter an event filter. You can read more about the events filters in the top view events help file. The last item to configure in the events tag is the maximum number of sources. The top view engine will track each unique source that appears for this events tag by allocating a slot or row in the top view engine. I need to tell top view how many sources may appear so the correct number of rows can be allocated. This events tag will receive humidity readings for 10 sensors, but I may be adding five additional sensors in the future. If I allocate the additional space now, I won't need to make changes to top view once the new sensors are added and installed. So to allow for the current 10 sensors, plus the five future additional sensors, I'll set the maximum sources to 15. Now that we have an events tag, we can configure the top view engine to monitor the humidity values from the MQTT messages. As mentioned earlier, the configurator is used to configure an instance of the top view engine. The top view engine performs all of the real-time tasks, such as monitoring and notification. I'll use tag search to add my humidity events tag to the monitored list. Before I can test the top view engine, I need to save the configuration.
The TopView engine can run interactively or as a Windows service. To test my humidity values, I will run the engine interactively by clicking on the launch button. In the top view engine window, values view, the default view, displays the rows allocated for my events tag. Top view allocated 15 rows because my events tag maximum source count is 15. The tag name column displays the events tag name for the first device and the events tag name with the index 2 to 15 for the other devices. As new events arrive, the engine looks to see if the event source, the device ID, has been assigned a row in the engine. If not, the next available row is assigned. The source column displays the source assigned to each row. As additional events occur for each source, they will appear in the assigned row. The value column displays the row value as defined for the events tag. Our events tag row value is the message payload, the humidity value. Now that we know our events tag is working, we can configure alarms and email notification for our humidity and QGT events. We've configured TopView to monitor the humidity values, but we haven't configured TopView to do anything when new humidity values arrive. When we configured our events tag, we set the row value to the humidity value, so we can configure an alarm condition based on this value. I'd like to configure an alarm condition for humidity if the value is greater than 85. I can edit the alarm condition by double-clicking a tag in the list. I'll set the alarm condition to greater than 85. And I'll configure a custom alarm message to include the device ID and the humidity value by using placeholders. I'll repeat the steps to test the TopView engine to verify that TopView alarms occur when any of the humidity values are greater than 85. Again, Values view will display the new events as they arrive. The event sources are assigned to rows, the humidity values are displayed, and TopView alarms occur if the humidity reading is greater than 85. If I switch to Alarms view, I can view the current alarm message for each source. The alarm message is also the default notification message. Next, I'd like to monitor and set alarm conditions for the temperature readings from my sensors. Instead of monitoring the text-based temperature MQTT messages from the simulator, I'll demonstrate how we can monitor and parse the JSON MQTT message. The JSON MQTT messages have a topic of sensors underscore JSON followed by the device ID. The payload is JSON and contains the device, temperature, humidity, location, and time of reading. Following similar steps as before, I'll configure a new event generator as a subscription to the JSON messages. Since the message payload is JSON, 
and need to parse the JSON string to retrieve the field values contained in the string. TopView uses JSON path to parse the fields from the JSON string. You can click the link at the top of the screen to learn more about this syntax. For each field I want to parse from the JSON string, I need to enter a field name and the correct JSON path query. The JSON path query will contain the field names as they appear in the JSON string. To help with testing of my JSON path queries, I can paste an example JSON string into the test section. I'll enter fields for the device ID, temperature, location, and time of reading. Once the fields are defined, I can test the JSON path queries. Unlike the humidity text-based message, the JSON message contains the time of the reading. I can use this parse time as the timestamp of the reading in top view. And I can test my subscription. Again, following similar steps, I can create an events tag for the temperature readings parsed from the JSON messages. I'll set the source to the device ID field. and the row value to the temperature reading. And the same number of maximum sources. Allow the temperature events tag to the configuration with an alarm condition greater than or equal to 55. and I'll set the custom alarm message to include the device ID, the temperature reading, and the location. I can now test the TopView engine to see both humidity and temperature alarms.
The last step is to configure email notification for my temperature and humidity alarms. First, I'll configure the SMTP server that I'll use for email notification. Next, I'll create an email notification group with the desired recipients. I need to assign the email notification group to my alarms. TopView allows you to configure a notification per tag or through tag groups. Although we recommend using tag groups for most situations, for this simple example, we can assign the email notification group to each of the two alarms. When I test the engine, I should see my humidity and temperature alarms and the alarm messages to be sent to my email client. Thanks for watching. We hope we've given you a good understanding of how TopView can be used for monitoring and parsing of MQTT messages, as well as alarm detection and notification of the message content. TopView can be downloaded for free and we invite you to try it out. TopView contains many features beyond MQTT subscribing, and we hope that you will investigate those features once you start using TopView. Please contact us with any questions you have about this video, TopView, or any other Excel products.